Hey there everyone, it's Insane in the Rain Music, and today I am so happy to announce that the results of the Insane in the Rain Music Jazz Challenge 2 are finally in. In case you missed the announcement video, this was my second contest hosted here on my YouTube channel in which I challenged you guys, the viewers, to produce a jazz arrangement, um, well specifically a YouTube video, but a jazz arrangement of any video game song you wanted um, within a two week timeline. Last year we had a one week timeline, this year I expanded it to two. We expanded from a total of 144 entries last year to a total of 160 this year, and I I can't even begin to express how awesome that is. It's so awesome that there were so many of you out there who felt inspired enough or motivated enough to put your best foot forward and just create something because that's what that's what this challenge was all about. I wanted to challenge you guys to create jazz arrangements just like I do and I wanted to show you how much fun it can be. I enjoy creating jazz arrangements of video game music so much that it has basically become my entire life at this point and um, to be able to share a little bit of that passion with you is basically the reason that this contest even exists, not not the prizes or the fame. So thank you for entering. I went through all 160 I went through all the 160 entries and graded them according to the criteria that I listed in the uh, in the announcement video. Um, that is, all that information will be available in the description. After I went through the 160, I whittled them down painstakingly to the top 28. That was such a hard process, um, not only because it took so long to go through the 160, but because there were so many good ones that I thought would really, really fit in the top 28, and unfortunately I had to cut some um, just because I didn't want to give too many videos to the guest judges. Speaking of the guest judges, I want to give an enormous thank you to them for their patience and all the work that they put in to make, um, to sift through the entries that I provided for them. This includes Doug Perry, Josh Vasquez with his YouTube name being Znarky, 8-Bit Music Theory, Sab Irene, um, Alex Popoff, Zorsi, and David Wise. All of them listened to all the top entries and provided some excellent feedback. So without any further ado, let's get to the winners. This year, there are five honorable mentions, five third place winners, three second place winners, and a single first place winner. Each of the differing places will be getting different prizes if you want more information on that. Again, there's a PDF to everything about the contest in the description below. Um, so I'm gonna let the honorable mentions play out right now. These are some videos that stood out to me um, that I wanted to highlight despite them not making it to the upper echelon of the contest entries. Those honorable mentions were spectacular. Given how good those ones are, you can only imagine how the quality of the entries continues to rise as we get closer and closer to the top. So let's move on to the third place winners. There were five third place winners here, and I'm going to go through and provide some commentary on what I liked about each of them. Starting off, we've got Wyatt W. Music with his arrangement of Sacred Grove from, I think it was The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. This was an entry that I was really hoping would make it to the top. What immediately impressed me was his fantastic tenor tone and his ability to walk so nicely on the electric bass, and there was also a bass solo that was really, really cool here. He's just got such an awesome level of skill at all the instruments that are, you know, typically associated with jazz, and that enabled him to create an awesome one-man band production. I think he also recorded the entire thing with a single microphone, which is also very impressive because the mix sounds pretty good, and to be able to do that with a single microphone is no easy feat, so congratulations, Wyatt. The next third place winner is Fox Chase with Jazz Amari. I was very surprised when I first saw this this entry and I wasn't really sure what to expect because I'm, I'm not very familiar with the Katamari Damacy series. Fox Chase put a disclaimer at the beginning of this video that this was his first jazz arrangement and also his first attempt at singing Japanese. And for your first time, dude, that was so cool. The mix sounded fantastic and full 
and um, the little graphics of the people playing the instruments in the video were really fun as well. Um, I know Sav Irene really liked this entry in particular just because of how fun and how how fun and cool it was. Seriously, for your first attempt at a jazz arrangement and singing Japanese, it sounds fantastic. I can definitely tell that you've got quite a bit of experience before, um, but overall this arrangement was just so cool and so fun to listen to, and I'm glad it made it into the top few entries. Next up we've got Subversive Asset with his arrangement of a Moonstruck Blossom from Kirby Triple Deluxe. This was a very, very fun entry, and um, David Wise, one of the judges, had an excellent comment about it. And he said that it really captured the fun and like the story of the game very well. A subversive asset is not too serious about himself in the way that he presents his content. Um, of course, he makes awesome videos, but his performance and his dance moves and his singing just go to show that you know, fun is important too, as well as making good quality music. Subversive Asset's story is always entertaining, and this one was no exception. Um, it captured the original fun and spirit of the music, and his vocal debut was something you don't want to miss. So, um, if you haven't checked out that video already, it's awesome. I definitely recommend it. Our next third place winner is Charles Ritz, who did a fantastic arrangement of the Sandy Beaches, Sandy Beach Beaches of Ganbo from Grandia. I think I don't quite remember exactly which one it was. His arrangement was very fun, um, a fantastic team effort. With and it was it was it was a three-person collaboration, and there was a lot of interplay, and um, everybody covered very different parts of the arrangements. It was very layered, and there was a lot of percussion in there that just sounded that really enhanced the feel of the arrangement. And it was also pretty funny. There were some little bits of humor in there that I caught onto, and I thought was pretty enjoyable. Um, Charles did a fantastic job with this arrangement, and also check out his channel. He also uploads jazz arrangements of video game music fairly consistently, um, similar to what I do. So if you like my music, you'll definitely want to check out his channel as well. Our final third place winner is Bastion Broussard with his Zelda Fusion medley. Um, this was so interesting to see because um, not only is the arrangement so cool, but he put a lot of, you can tell he put a lot of extra effort into making the video really cool. Um, because there are like so many clone shots in this and just a lot of cool stuff that you know that took quite a bit of time to put together. Yes, very creative video editing on the arrangement, and a lot of varied styles were in this arrangement. He didn't just play every song in the same style, he made distinctly different sections of the arrangements for each song. Uh, my personal favorite was Gerudo Valley, because it sounded super cool with the, with the way he arranged it. Um, definitely an awesome video, check it out. That is it for the third place entries. Now we move on to the second place entries. The quality continues to rise. I've got three second place finishers who all did fantastic videos. As a result of winning second place, these entrants will be able to um, have me play or arrange something for them or work on one of their own creations. Um, and you might end up seeing them on my channel too because some of these people have fantastic musical ability and I just love to feature them on some videos. Um, so without any further ado, here are the second place winners. First up is Tonal Rumble Pack with his arrangement of Satoral Marsh from Xenoblade. This was amazing when I first watched it. Um, it was a, a, a very emotional arrangement and definitely spoke a lot to the judges. Um, his trumpet tone is fantastically clear, um, and the trumpet harmony that he wrote was, when you put that many clear tones together, you get a harmony that resonates so well, and Tonal Rumble Pack really achieved that um, with this arrangement. His trumpet playing wasn't the only interesting thing in the arrangement, he also plays slap bass too. The contrast of the smooth trumpet, you know, to like, the, the funky slap bass, that was so awesome to hear, and it's so cool to hear that that can come from one person. He also used mutes on his trumpet part to vary up the sound, which is something I wish I had the ability to do, because, you know, you can't you can't mute a saxophone in the same way you can a trumpet. Um, but for a trumpet-focused arrangement, using mutes is a really, really nice way to vary up the sounds and create, I guess, different distinct arrangement characters within the, within the, within the tune. Also, there was a fantastic trumpet solo to cap things off, so Tonal Rumble Pack, you did an awesome job and to anybody who's not already familiar with his channel, definitely check it out. He's also made some jazz covers before and his work is impeccable. Our second, second place winner is Alex Heflin with his arrangement of A Cave is a Sideways Hole um, from West of Loathing. Personally, I've been a fan of Alex's playing for a long time and clearly his playing was able to impress the guest judges as well. He's got a ton of skill on various string instruments like, like guitar um, and most notably mandolin. His mandolin playing is excellent. Um, it's so interesting how well he can make tunes groove without even needing like a drum kit. He does like these little chick 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 sounds on the mandolin which works so well when you pair them with like typical jazz guitar chord comping. 
This arrangement was so groovy and so tasteful too. There's not a whole lot of complicated stuff here, but the minimalism and like the tightness is what's really appealing about this. Alex did a fantastic job. Also check out his channel. Everybody's channel should be linked in the description, by the way. Anybody that I mentioned in this video. Our final second place winner is Danny Music with his arrangement of the Sylph Corporation theme from Pokemon Red, Blue, and Yellow. This was probably the most creative arrangement out of the entire contest. Um, there were so many creative liberties that he took with this arrangement, and I think they all worked out super well. Um, mainly because you could you could always you always knew where the where the liberty was coming from, if that makes sense. Like you could always tell that it was some variation on like the the sylph theme or a background part it was just so cool to hear all these little variations inter interweaved together um between trombone alto sax and trumpet it sounded awesome there's enough variation in the arrangement to keep the listener's attention which is something that's really important when writing arrangements um, if you stay on the same thing for too long or you don't really develop an idea um, the arrangement becomes stale but with danny's arrangement Everything was always jumping at you from an, from another side. Maybe it's a trombone riff over here, and then a sax thing answers that, and then the trumpet comes in. It was just so varied, and it was really it really easily kept the attention of the listener, which is very important. So fantastic job, Danny. Um, I'm, I'm really looking forward to working on something with you. And now it is time for the first place winner. If you've gone through the playlist of contest entrants and you've been listening carefully to the ones I mentioned out so far, you'll probably know who's coming next. This entrant was incredibly he's incredibly multi-instrumental so skilled at all the instruments he plays this particular arrangement was spectacular and blew all the judges away after sending out each individual judge's guest judging sheet i got a response from pretty much every single judge who was just like just wowed at this guy and the second i i know that the second that they saw this guy's video they knew that he was going to win so without further ado here's the first place winner From the moment I saw Portmanteau's entry, I knew he was going to be a strong contender for the top of this contest, and he delivered. As I mentioned before, his multi-instrumental skills are impeccable, and he is just so good at playing everything. Not only that, but it's also mixed very well. To me, it sounds like the um, like the Pokemon anime soundtrack. That w and that is so well put together, and Portmanteau's arrangements really remind me of that sound. So he's been able to achieve a very polished professional sound from his multi-instrumental recordings that is not easy to do so congratulations portmanteau for winning um i'm excited to feature you on an arrangement in this channel in the next couple of months um i don't have any ideas yet but i think it's gonna have to be one where i make you play every instrument that you possibly can <laughs> And that is all. The Insane Lorraine Music Jazz Challenge 2 is now officially complete. This contest would be nothing without the people who entered it, so thank you so much if you made a video or even considered making a video. The fact that you were inspired enough by the, the idea of this challenge to create something that you thought was important and post it on YouTube is just so cool to me. And it really highlights what's so awesome about the community of this channel. Um, so many of the people who listen to me are musicians, and this challenge is a good way for them to hone their own personal skills and contribute to the community of video game music on YouTube. To me and so many other people, video game music is tremendously important to our lives. And I pay tribute to video game music in the best way I can by writing jazz arrangements. And I wanted to allow you guys to do the same thing by paying tribute to these fantastic composers who wrote excellent video game music and combining it with jazz, one of my favorite genres and one that I think allows for a huge amount of self-expression and creativity. So thank you so much for entering. All contest winners should be receiving an email from me within a day or so explaining information on how you get to claim your prizes. Also, regardless of what place you finish in this contest, I invite you to fill out the Jazz Challenge 2 feedback form. Um, the feedback that was provided on last year's video was tremendously helpful in making this contest uh, much better. And one of the key things that key changes was doing away with the one week deadline and moving to a two week deadline, which I thought was one, fitting with what I've been doing with the channel lately, and also much better for you. So if you've got any ideas or suggestions, um, maybe suggestions for guest judges or something like that, please put that in the um, 
Jazz, Jazz Challenge 2 feedback form, which should be in the description. I'm sure many of you in the comments will be asking me now, well, Carlos, are you gonna make this a yearly thing? And to that, probably, um, but I can't say for sure. Right now, I can't accurately predict the new ideas I'll have for growing the community of this channel, um, which is the principal reason that this challenge even exists. Um, so I'm not sure. I think it will be, and it might not happen um, in the summer again next year, um, but we'll see. Maybe I'll come up with some unique challenge on top of the jazz challenge to throw at you. Um, once again, thank you so much to everybody who entered and even or even considered making a video. This has been Insane Lorraine Music, and I want to thank you so much for being a part of the community of Raindrops. See you in the next video.